All right, Tommy Grisafi, advanced trading, a lot to navigate with the markets right now. But as we look, the volatility that really had a strong hold on the markets on Thursday, what are the markets telling us at this point, Tommy? You know, incredible price action time. You could have bought grain slower on the night. And that was after a half hour after that tweet came out saying that uh, there's going to be uh, you know a war. And how the markets were so mispositioned, just absolutely amazing. And not just grain markets. I mean, you'd seen the Dow Jones down 900 last night. You saw the 10 year and the bond have a major move. Crude oil, major move. Energies, look what this did. Natural gas in Europe's up 40% today, Tyne. So the, the implications of what happened are real. And you know what's the saddest thing? is we already had out of control inflation. If you said, what's on your mind, what's bothering you? This is the largest single tax for poor people in the world, lower middle class, middle class. They won't realize it till it's over. Every dollar you have in your pocket is gonna be worth 80 cents at the end of the year. And if you don't own assets, and usually only rich people own all this stuff, this is the biggest transfer of wealth ever. And it's the exact opposite of what the administration said they wanted to do. So when you look at our fuel and energy, you look at fuel, food, and fiber, you look at our policies here in the United States, and then you look at what happened overnight, we could be on the verge of a disaster. But I'd like to spin it positive and see if we can come out of this and maybe maybe that maybe this isn't maybe it doesn't get as bad as it looked last night time yeah so what is best case scenario tommy well we're seeing a couple uh green shoots already today the nasdaq already traded up on the day crude oil backed way off we could change some of our policies in america i heard we have a lot of energy here i travel up to north dakota i heard we used to have a pipeline that used to pump that stuff out so allegedly we can we need to become energy independent. We got to put this whole, we're all going to drive around with battery operated cars and figure out a place to park them. We got to move forward. We need to start making America first instead of other countries. And when, when people realize, I hope America doesn't have a moment like they're having in Canada, but when, when average hardworking Americans realize what just happened, to energy and food, they're going to be very upset time. You're going to have an upset American public, regardless of what the stock market does. Nobody likes paying too much for food, fuel, and fiber. All right. So bet that's best case. Okay. But you talked about it a little bit. Worst case scenario. Let's say this war continues. Let's say it plays on for months and months. What impact could we, could we see? Well, you could see people starve. I mean, if we have a fertilizer problem, we, we, we already have food insecurity in America. And unfortunately, COVID played right into that. You have two little girls who I know. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of kids who go who needed to go to school just to have those meals. You think about the whole world. I mean, if the government's giving you money to buy food, it's not buying as much. So the worst thing that could happen is food insecurity in the world. And I'll tell you, my friend, that should not be happening in 2022 with the technology we have and the ability to produce. The American farmer is the best farmer in the world, but we need to have a little loose policy to let us do what we do best. And we're being crimped down with other things and rules and regulations, not to mention wages are out of control. The inflation thing, it just plays into this. It's, it's just a, it, this is nothing like the 80s time. This could be even worse, but somehow we should rally back. We are the best house in a bad neighborhood and we're going to come out of this okay, I believe, my friend. Well, for farmers right now, as you look at the uncertainty, as I mean, you went to bed last night thinking things maybe weren't as bad as as as, as what some had said. And then this morning, seeing that war was uh, officially in place. I mean, Tommy, as you're looking at farmers right now, front month contracts soaring, back month contracts, you know, uh, are seeing some pressure. How do you manage risk in the middle of such uncertainty? Well, the uh, it's like that old saying, the best time to uh, find a shady tree was, you know, someone had to plant that for you years ago. You just can't wake up today and decide you want to be a risk manager. You have to plan ahead. The best thing the American farmer has going for him or her is this crop insurance. The United States government's going to give you a wonderful put on a percentage of uh, your crop. You could buy 70, 75, 80. 
I don't sell crop insurance, but I know enough about it to know how awesome it is. And so that's a, a really great thing. Many producers are going to go into this year profitable. Another great thing is they had a chance to sell $6 DS23 corn futures last night. If you had that order in the elevator, I'll let you in on a little secret, Tyne. The best way to be able to sell beans up 90 cents at night is to have an order in. You can't you can't see that they were up 90 at up at night and now they're down 20 and say I wish I would have sold them there. Wishes aren't going to get it done. Actions are. And we need strong people. We need solutions, not sarcasm. And you're going to have to run your own company. No one's going to bail you out of this. The government's going to be there with the put for the insurance. If the markets continue to run or if they continue to break, there's a scenario for both and you need you're going to need to take action. You and I know just well enough that the farmer just wants someone to tell them, just tell me what day to sell. If it was that easy, I wouldn't be in a sport coat in my basement and and bags under my eyes because I was up all night. This is a the most dynamic market I've ever seen in my life. And you need to be responsible. That means you need to respond with action and do something about what these markets are doing. Grab a hold of it and take some risk off time.